The summer program has been designed to inspire young people who are interested in hospitality. It is comprised of one week in Switzerland, or they can do one week in London, or they can do both and discover both campuses for a total of two weeks. The Gleon summer experience is really about learning the basics of hospitality whilst immersing yourself in the culture of the country and also getting to know the lecturers, the campus, and what life is really like as a student. The workshops that they have the opportunity to take part in in the morning give them a really a useful insight into the world of hospitality ranging from guest relations all the way through to cocktail making and dealing with life in a busy kitchen. Conversely, in the afternoons they get a great opportunity to experience the culture of Montreux with team building activities and exciting sports events such as go-karting. Here they go to classes in the morning and these go around ideas such as luxury branding and revenue management and then in the afternoon they can go off into excursions in London. When we go into London we go to places like the Ritz and we also go for breakfast at the Four Seasons. When we arrive at these hotels we're greeted by some excellent team members who take us on tours around and they also take us on the tours behind the scenes so they get to see where all the magic happens. This gives them a real taste of where they could be in the future and where their career in hospitality could lead them to and the opportunity that Gleon can provide for them. I believe that the summer experience is a once in a lifetime experience where you get to meet people from all around the world, where you get to experience different things like in Switzerland and in London with these people that you've met. I've been here in Gleon uh, for the summer camp both in Switzerland and in London. I think it was an amazing experience to get to know a lot of friends, get to know a lot of about hospitality management. Yeah, I think it was an amazing experience.